All I know is that security is a collective responsibility of all Nigerians, but particularly those elected in position of authority. Each and everybody has a role to play, and the abdication of such responsibility or role are gross in nature and could be grossly treated. First, what happened um, on the plow was a clear demonstration by the members of the House to show Nigerians that we are always alive to our responsibilities. Number two, it put to lie the very malicious accusation being labeled against us that we are rubber stamped. We are matured legislatures who know when to bite and when to back. At times, if backing can stimulate action, you stop at that. You don't need to back and bite. However, when it is necessary, we felt we should politically and democratically bite. And that was the reasons why there was unanimity that the president must come and address us. We say he must come because he, the commander-in-chief, the buck stopped at his table. He's at all we have listened to the service chiefs and nothing changes. Perhaps by the time the president appeared before us and made a commitment, he will make sure that that commitment did not fail. The fact that I have returned and returned and returned will let you know that my people are satisfied with my services. If I'm to sit down here and to begin to enumerate what I have done in my constituency, then I will apply that you arrange a one-hour program for me. But to answer your question, is that because I have done what the constituency want, and that is why I have been returning to the house almost, I won't say unopposed, but almost unopposed. Because since the time I have never won an election with a margin of less than 15,000, I have never. My margin is always between 20 and 25,000 between me and the opponent. There is no aspect of representation that I have not touched the life of my constituencies. Is it empowerment? Is it employment? In this infrastructure, I have built primary school in my constituency. I have built secondary school in my constituency. I have brought two campuses of open university in my constituency. My bill is waiting concurrence in the Senate for state polytechnic in my constituency. I have built roads. I have built hospitals. I have put street light. I have built boreholes. That is why I say, what is it that I have not done? Uh, well, for what I hope to achieve for my constituents is for me to sustain what I have been doing. That will have been very sufficient for me not to go back. If I'm able to sustain the momentum of what I have been doing, I will have given thanks to Almighty Allah. That is what I will do. Secondly, as to what my intentions are or what I'm going to become in the 2023 election, I would say that belongs to Allah. Only Allah knows what the future holds for what. What I am busy now is to service and to continue to service the mandate given to me until it expire before I will know where I'm going. But I am, as I am now, I am more concerned on how to deliver the remaining of what I have not yet done to members of my constituents. What my constituents should expect from you is consistency, independence that are right, in attracting federal presence, 
in promoting employment, eradicating redundancy, ensuring that uh, youth in my area are gainfully employed, those who are not able to go to school are provided with the opportunity to go, those who prepare another vocation are empowered. These are areas I intend to sustain, uh, efforts that are already in a place. For Nigeria, I hope to contribute to our continued peaceful coexistence where every right of Nigerian is not only guaranteed but protected, where every Nigerian can go to anywhere and feel he is at home. If we achieve this, I will be happy to be part of that uh, arrangement.